Hello Portland, this is Dave the Bald Guy, putting the bald guy on baldguylimo.com. Hey, before we get started, I want to remind you we are still doing that contest. $500 gift card for Amazon. We're going to choose it out of our subscriber list. So hit that subscribe button right now and you'll be entered into the contest. And we're going to do the drawing on November 1st. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we're good to go. You're entered into the contest as soon as you do that. So today I'm going to do things a little bit different. I've... Uh, I've had this feeling of dread, and I knew it was going to happen today. In the back of my mind, I'm like, this isn't actually going to happen. This isn't real. This isn't real. And uh, sure enough, it wasn't. So over the last six, seven months, I've slowly been having problems with the tooth back here. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that I was a horrible, horrible decision maker. And uh, I smoked for about uh, 20 years, and it did horrible things to my teeth. And my cat's meowing because she wants the attention. So I've been having a problem with a tooth way in the back back here. And what happened was I ended up getting into the dentist. And the dentist said, okay, you have an exposed nerve back there. So we're going to have to get you to a oral surgeon to pull the tooth because I have diabetes, they don't, the dentist won't touch it. The oral surgeon, they sent it to the oral surgeon who didn't take it. So, this dentist was at a place called Smile Keepers in Milwaukee, Oregon. And I'll have to tell you, this is one of the worst goddamn places I've ever seen in my life. It's just amateur hour. If you look them up on Yelp, they've got about a two and a half star average rating. If you look them up on Google, about the same. It's around two and a half stars. I should have looked before. So, today, you know, let, let's backtrack a little bit. Today was the fourth reschedule I had had on their part, not mine, on their part. They would call me up, yeah, we're going to have to reschedule. Yeah, we're going to have to reschedule. I was originally supposed to have this pulled out in June. So uh, they make the reserve, the, make the appointment they make the appointment, we fill out the, you know, the little card they give you with the report, the appointment reminder and all that. Uh, so they, uh, they hand it to me and they say, okay, come back on this date at this time and we'll extract the two. I said, okay, sounds good. So I come back on that date and that time and I say, okay, I'm here for my appointment. They put it into the little computer and they go, you don't have an appointment today, Mr. Galvin. You're not supposed to be here. I said, sure I am. And I pull out the card and I hand it to them. And they look at it and go, ooh, ooh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. all right? So they walk around the office, well, we can't find anyone who said that they, that they filled this out. Like I'm lying to them or something. So long of it short, they had to reschedule me again. So that's number two. That's a, then they rescheduled me out to July. I get a phone call about a week before the appointment. Now, mind you, the tooth's getting worse. You know, they, if you've ever had a toothache, you know, they don't fix themselves. They don't get any better. They get slowly worse. And I have a very difficult time sleeping at night. Because when you lay down, the blood starts to even out and it just, it hurts. It hurts. So around July, oh, so our oral surgeon quit. And we got ourselves another oral surgeon. So we got to, to train them and go through all that. So we're going to have to push your appointment back. <laughs> and so now we're going to have to do it in, all, in uh, August. So, okay, now they've rescheduled me twice. So I'm going into August. So we go into August. We're a week and a half away. Hey, <laughs> Dave. So, uh, our oral surgeon quit again, and we're going to have to push you back out to September.
So I get a phone call in early September, my appointment is, hello, Dave. Yeah, we got a different oral surgeon now again. So we're going to have to push you to September 16th. September 16th, I couldn't do. Because there was a personal issue going on uh, with my family. We had a family thing going on. And it was, it was something I couldn't get out of. Believe me, I would have if I could have. I just couldn't get out of it. So they said, okay, Dave, we'll do it a week later on the 23rd. Fourth time, fourth appointment, I get into this shithole of a dentist office. Shit hole. Dumb as a stick. I mean, they couldn't even schedule me in for my first appointment correctly. They screwed that up. So I go there today thinking, finally, I'm going to get eh, ha, 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 ha. That's been bothering me with exposed nerve. I can't sleep. It hurts. I will be sitting here and all of a sudden, boom, it's like someone takes a, uh, a, a uh, some kind of sharp object like a fork and just shoves it up in the head eh, and then does this and I'll be like oh, oh. and uh, I'm finally going to get this taken care of so I get in there I talk to Miss, uh, Dr. Buck is his name Dr. Buck who has the personality of a doorknob okay number one which I don't care for but I'm excited because I'm ready to get this tooth pulled. So we sit and talk and blah, 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 and blee, 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 blah, blah, blah. I go, yeah, let's do it. Let's pull it out. He goes, no, we're not going to do it today. What? You're not going to do it today? And I said, well, why am I here? Oh, this is a consultation. This was supposed to be pulled in June. I had a consultation in May. Yeah, you had a consultation with a different doctor. So we're going to have to schedule you to go do this uh, uh, some other time. And I'm like, this thing hurts. What am I supposed to do with the pain? Oh, just take some aspirin. <laughs> Give maybe some Tylenol. <laughs> and then it's almost like he's gloating. He's like, hey, look, I'm one of, you know, maybe 10 doctors in the state who takes your insurance. So, you know, you've got to wait in line. Okay, I'm in agony here sometimes. I'm in agony. I was talking to my wife today. I was like, can I sue them? Because it's been five appointments. They screwed up one big time by not even scheduling me for the appointment. And I can literally prove pain and suffering. I might look into that. So today, is, uh, as I would film this, it's the 24th of September, uh, about 2 in the morning. And they have me scheduled. I go to the scheduling group. I go to the scheduling place, and I go to the, the, the lady behind the desk, and she goes, okay, we can book you for October 28th. So now i got to wait a whole nother goddamn month for my fifth appointment to get this thing scheduled. And I swear to God, I swear to God, if they push me out again, I am going to sue somebody. Because this thing, this thing at times, I mean, it's horrible. Take a take a ice pick or something, shove it up in there, and ah, it's just moving it around. It's terrible. It's terrible. You know, I'm 50 years old, and you know, granted, I shouldn't have smoked, but I was stupid and didn't know any better. But you know what? I'm in agony. And whatever happened to like helping people? Now here in Oregon, they don't keep dentists in emergency rooms. If, if you're in just so much pain, because I've had teeth infection before, but if you're just in so much pain, um, uh, all the hospitals will do, all the ERs will do is just get you out of pain for a while, so at least you can sleep, and then you wake up the next morning, you're in agony again. And then they're like, go see a dentist. Nothing we can do about it. So I'm going to sit here and I'm gonna tell you, if you are in the Portland, Oregon area watching this, do not go to Smile Keepers in Milwaukee, Oregon. I can't say anything about any of their other locations. But I have just been treated like absolute crap by Smile Keepers of Milwaukee, Oregon. I mean, seriously, look them up on Yelp. It's about two and a half star average. Seriously, look them up on Google. About the same. Don't, don't just take my word. Look it up yourself. <sighs> Feels good to get that off my chest. So, that's my review of Smile Keepers. 
I wanted to throw a fit right there so damn hard. But I still gotta get this tooth taken care of. Actually, what you don't know is it's actually two teeth. Um, there's one down here that's actually broke off years ago. It's not causing me any pain, but they're looking at it and they're like, you know, we should really get rid of this because it's not going to, you know, get better. And I'm cool with it. You know, whatever. So, I'm in a pissy mood. That's what's happened with me. Smile Keepers, you guys are horrible. Dr. Buck... God, I wish I knew which car was yours. I didn't say that out loud, did I? Oh. All right. Anyway, I may actually, I might take legal action. I'm going to give that some thought, because seriously, they just keep putting me off and putting me off, and all I'm getting is excuses after out of these dumbasses. They don't care that I'm in pain. Take some Tylenol, Dave. He'll take some aspirin, Dave. He'll All right, everybody, be sure to hit that like button and sh please hit that subscribe button. You will be entered into our $500 Amazon gift card contest. Thank you very much, and we will see you all next time. BaldGuyLimo.com